What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Nubia in Multiverses. We can give you some tips and tricks on how to play Nubia, some best strategies to keep in mind, and of course some fun and easy ways to start combos. Subscribe here for more Multiverses content, and let's get right into it. Nubia, though a blast to play, you'll notice that she's kind of uh, basic, not a bad thing. There's not a ton going on for her. She's pretty easy to understand out the gate, which I do like. She doesn't have any like passive abilities to worry about or anything like that, but there are some notes I want to give you regarding her moves and things to keep in mind about them. Her down attack held gains armor, and rather than be just one attack as you just like you normally would press if you hold it it is a multi-hitting attack that does have some good range to it so this is a great edge guarding tool as well because you get the armor and then that like electricity explosion will go towards the edge so i hate to advocate for uh edge guarding here but that is a great edge guarding tool you can also utilize that inside of combos like do side attack and then down attack do side attack down attack up attack some pretty good ways to start combos with that side jab going into either down attack or up attack or up attack first stuff like that and speaking of her up attack you can charge that and that is great because that way you can actually let go when you want to attack your opponent get more damage get more knockback and by itself it's got pretty damn good range both horizontally and vertically not gonna lie it's also kind of a good edge guarding tool as well because if your opponent's way over here and they're trying to come back to the stage you just wait for him and then pop him right back up you can also charge your neutral attack which is also great and this move does break armor in of itself but of course the more you charge it the more damage and knockback you do so your neutral attack breaks armor your down attack if held will break armor because it is multi-hitting if it's fast enough your neutral attack is also a multi-hitting move so that'll also break armor if fast enough speaking of attacks let's go over her aerial attacks and things to know about those her spike is really good like down air has got some really good range to even behind her you can lead that into like up special or just like down attack in the air then up attack as well she's got a lot of good options from the spike whether it be on stage or off stage side air is just a great move as well good range single hit decent knockback what more do you want and again neutral air multi-hitting attack there you go great way to get into combos Aerial up attack is huge. Multi-hitting move and can just be comboed to craziness. I love her aerial up attack. Now, what about her specials? Well, here's some things to keep in mind. Side special on the ground is one hit, but in the air, it can be directionally influenced, so you can go up or down with it, and it's more than one hit. I find myself doing aerial side special a lot more than just like on the ground. Down special does have pretty slow start up. It's my favorite. Hopefully they fix that by the time you're watching this. But it's a decent, powerful move. But the thing you need to know about that move specifically, but while you're playing twos, there's actually a big note for that move, is when you do a down special, you will teleport to your ally. Battle. And doing so will also reflect projectiles like this. So it's a great way to get to your ally and start, you know, playing as a duo. And if they're getting projectile to hell, you can just reflect them. She's a great soloist, but also a great partner. We already went over her side special, which is, again is a great move. Up special acts very similar to her aerial up attack, a multi-hitting upwards attack. So you might have already been able to guess she's a very vertical player. Yeah, she's got some good, you know, horizontal stuff, sure. But she can just carry you to the ceiling, my guy. She can just carry you all the way up there. That's going to be your main strategy of KOing, is just carrying your opponent to the roof. Up special jump up attack up special again and then up attack again you do have horizontal moves like side air special sure but those are just like good jabs good hits in general vertically she'll just carry you now one of her best and most unique moves is just neutral special a great damaging great knockback move that kind of acts like scorpion spear from mortal kombat get over here and you can't aim that you know downwards or upwards after you throw it out it's the same thing in the air as well so they're a little bit below you just like throw it out there then hold downwards and man this thing has got some reach to it obviously she's got that spear for a reason a lot of her moves already got good reach by themselves but this move is just disgusting now keep in mind it's a little bit on startup and pretty bad on whiff if you miss it be prepared to get punished i mainly use this for a punish move myself so if they whiff one of their punish moves i'm basically guaranteed this hit and of course you can put that inside of combos like this so those are the biggest notes when it comes to her kit and her moveset. So let's talk about neutral and strategy. When you're in neutral, you are an assassin. You basically are that glass cannon. Though you want to get in their face, uh, Nubia's got that range for a reason. She really loves that mid to close range. You do have a bit on that further extension with, you know, their neutral special, sure. That's not going to be full screen. She has no projectiles. So you really do want to be anywhere from like around this area in their face or about, uh, you know, medium range, right? Because you got good reaching normals. You got, you got that good jab, down tackle with 
good range, side air with good range. And once you get in their face, you just want to like up special and then like up attack and just carry them to the ceiling, man. You want to find that opening for your neutral special to actually land. And again, once you can, anywhere in a combo, up attack, aerial up attack, up special again, up attack, carry them up, baby, carry them up. Nubia's weakness is going to be projectile heavy characters, mages, stuff like that. Because she doesn't have any, not that every character needs them and not every character does, but because of that, you really just want to play mid to close range with Nubia. And if they try getting away, get close as you can and then just neutral special it. Really throws them off their game. Throws out their game plan and allows you to get in there. So what are some fun and easy ways to start combos with Nubia? Well, your jab is a great option. Like I showcased earlier, that can go into down attack or up attack. Depending on how I'm feeling, I usually prefer up attack to again, carry them vertically. Side and then up attack, up special, up attack again. Pretty good start from there. If you're feeling juicy, you just go side attack and then use a special. Some really good damage, really good knockback. For higher percentages, that would definitely kill. Not a crazy combo, but good way to get into it. I mean, you can even rush and go right into the upward special and then start the air stuff from there. Like neutral attack after that. Or just do it twice in a row, really. All of these put your opponent in the air. You carry him vertically. If they ever get beneath you, just neutral special and then aim it downwards and start going from there. Now, what about perk recommendations for Nubia? Well, she's got two signature perks that really do the same thing in my opinion, or they're just not very different at all. Nubia gains a sweet spot on the tip of her spear during normal attacks. That is the same for both of them. One of them though, on hit applies shocked and on cold sight, landing three sweet spots will briefly stun an enemy. If you have that on, you'll see a sweet spot counter on your opponent. You land three in a row, now they're stunned. Free combo. I find that to be most useful. You're doing a lot of normals, you know, during her gameplay and her combos. You're typically landing that at least two or three times a game. Adding the shock, I don't really notice a huge difference on it. I just prefer that extra stun every three hits on the normals. So off the gate, I recommend cold side first. She is an assassin. You're in their face. You're doing a lot of normals, a lot of melee attacks. Who doesn't want more damage? So I recommend purest of motivations or snowball effect. Both just good damage. If you want more advantage on killing the heavier characters, Superman, Iron, Iron Giant, Wonder Woman, stuff like that. Then press the advantage is great. Then you apply a weak end to all those opponents that are above 125 damage. Is then more damage, more knockback. And because you are an assassin, you're that glass cannon. This can be very useful. I found myself using snowball effect or press the advantage a lot more often than the others. Those are my two favorites for her. She's an assassin for a reason, but I always want more speed with my assassins. Arya, Harley, Marvin, and now of course Nubia. So I prefer speed force assist. Although if you're feeling saucy, Air Walker is great for Nubia. You're carrying them vertically and vertically. Aerial special is great for that. So do Doing aerial special using this platform from air walker doing it again in up attack this can be stellar you just want more speed i don't blame you i do too you are a melee character you have nothing but melee attacks it feels like so uh pugilist just feels like a no-brainer all these are great but uh more damage is just like how do you just not take that you know with all that being said my dudes let me know your thoughts down below on nubia as a character in multiverses do you like her do you hate her is she your main i think she's my new main assassin i'm liking her a lot let me know your thoughts down below if you found this video informative and or helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe here for more content turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more multiverses news guides reactions and more